But that is one thing. I mean, when you're saying it moved me, that would really be the earliest thing I remember creating a, a lasting memory um, and yeah. moving me. But the the good thing that I remember was my dad loved um, everything. He loved being a ham radio operator doing radio in the basement. He loved audio recording and journalism recording, style recording like I always have. He had a Ewer reel-to-reel tape recorder, which was a German-made portable quarter-inch tape recorder. That was Impressive. the reporter's recorder um, mm. at the time in the 60s. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I played with it all the time. And I think I played with it so much that my dad gave me my own cassette recorder because I was probably going to break the Ewer <laughs> playing around with it. Uh, as I he broke everything. He knew what he needed to do. <laughs> yeah, I broke everything my dad had. You know, I just broke everything. Oh, so, no. um So then I just remember recording myself and talking into that thing. And I remember my grandmother recording me and my brother. She did re- interviews of my brother and I as little, little kids. That was a thing with grandparents. Yeah, my grandfather had one of those little tiny handheld um, tape recorders. You remember the ones that had like the, the tape cassette. that were like this big? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. brought a micro cassette recorder to on a trip to Germany when I was 16. I wish yeah. I knew where those tapes were. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I love that. My grandmother had the little plastic microphone, you know, that plugged yeah. into the recorder and she yeah. would put it in front of us, you know. So yeah. those are my earliest memories of, of, of sound, recorded sound anyway. Yeah. So did that get you interested in recording sound on your own or for other people? <laughs> Is yeah, that where you, your sure. love of audio? Yeah. I was always uh, recording myself talking or making funny sounds or <laughs> recording music, uh, source, different sources. I learned kind of early-ish on that my own recordings of records and CDs sounded better than the store-bought cassettes. Interesting. Um, Why was that? Because cassettes are mass-produced in what was called a bin-looping process. So they Uh had these huge machines that ran really long pieces of tape through them at very high speed, duplicating and duplicating and duplicating the same, you know, tape source Mm -hmm. over and over. And that high-speed duping process couldn't maintain the sound quality that you could do with your own cassette deck at home. So as a teenager, I, I eventually got a pretty decent cassette deck, and I started taping everything myself um, that I wanted to listen to while I in my Walkman or when I was in my later in my car. And um, so that was kind of the most recording I was probably doing. At the same time, my dad bought a four-track, a Tascam Porta 01. Mm-hmm. And um, that was really cool because it was a four-track recorder with the mixer on, built into it, and it had D batteries, so it could be completely portable. And we would take it around in the field and record bluegrass b- b- groups and wow. do field okay. recording. So, yeah, there was a lot of early memories of recording lots of different sources and playing around, but none of it in any way was related to, in my mind anyway, voiceover. It was all just sound gathering recording engineering technique and and just having really just having fun 